I want to make videos about things that excite me. And lately, I've kind of gotten used to AI image generation technology. And I still think it's really exciting tech. I think I just am ready for some more AI technology we haven't seen before. And I'm happy to say that's been provided for today's video. Put your headphones on, folks, because we're going to be looking at text to audio. I'm excited to put it to the test and see what it's all about. This is in its infancy stages, but we type a prompt in and then audio gets generated. And there's also a mode that takes an image and then generates audio out of the image. And that's really exciting, too. So how about we go ahead and listen to some examples? Audio LDM, text to audio generation with latent diffusion models. So latent diffusion, sound familiar? This is the same tech as stable diffusion, relatively speaking. Obviously, you know, we're using diffusion to generate audio, not images. If you're really into the research side of things, you can go ahead and look through this entire research paper. This is what audio LDM looks like under the hood. It's pretty complicated stuff. They have a little sample video. Let's take a look. After that, just dry up and after that, just dry up and after that, just dry up and everything here. So, here we go. Everything here. So, here we go. Order pill with the two police subs officers. Okay, so there's actually quite a lot to unpack here. It doesn't just generate audio from text. This is truly a multi-purpose model. More accurately, there's more than one model in this research. So you can see there is definitely a high variety of different kinds of audio it can generate. It can do anything from space shuttles fighting in space to a man speaking in rooms. A massive difference in between the way the huge room sounds versus the small or the studio. <laughs> Like, it totally captures the differences between that. There's the echo in the background. The studio has completely different equalization. And although it's not that coherent, he's not saying any words, and the fidelity maybe isn't fully there, it's... <laughs> It's very obvious that it can tell the difference between those sounds and it knows what those are. And I mean, that's the whole purpose of the model at the end of the day. Wow, it's crazy how much different the studio sounds. The Metal Balls demo is really cool as well because it shows that it's able to understand the differences between materials and that's something I definitely want to test out today. And then they bring in ChatGPT. Imagine you're in your VR holodeck in the 2040s, and you just tell your machine, I want to be relaxing on the ocean, and then the ocean generates around you in 3D using AI, and the AI language model that you'll talk to in your holodeck, you know, something that's a subsidiary of the technology ChatGPT is based off of, will figure out what the ocean is supposed to sound like, and then use a model similar to this one to generate the sounds around you. In this case, the steady crashing of waves against the shore, the whooshing sound of water receding back into the ocean, the sound of seagulls and other coastal birds, and the distant sound of boats or ships. And you can hear the, the vague sound of the waves crashing on the ocean and the seagulls in the background, but no ships really, I would say. Now they move on to the sound of outer space with ChatGPT really doing its best here to describe it with radio emissions from the stars, planets, galaxies, and other celestial bodies. It's 
very intergalactic and alien sound, so it actually fits very, very well. I really like the model's rendition of this audio. I like the pop beat. This one was really cool, the audio style transfer. As you can see, this is an actual trumpet playing this audio, so they submit this audio to the model and say, make it sound like children instead. And it sounds exactly like a child singing that same trumpet tune. And right here, they actually do some audio upscaling. So they're taking some really disgusting, crunchy, gross audio, and they're making it sound more studio quality. And this actually shocked me how well it worked. So there's the junk audio. And it's actually able to completely bring the audio back from the dead. It's just so good at that. It, it's shocking. After that, just dry up and con after that, just dry up. And it works on after that, just dry up and con voices as well. It works great on the voices too. This was also extremely fascinating. They're actually doing in-painting with the audio, which means a chunk of the audio is actually being removed, and then they're saying to the AI, hey, just fill it in for us. Fill in the audio. What is it supposed to sound like? So you can see the original audio is completely missing a good five seconds, and we can hear that when they play it back. Here. So here we go. It's gone. And then completely different audio. And it kind of tries to blend it in. I feel like this isn't the best example of this at work, but I'm really excited to play with this. And again, folks, we're going to be making our own samples here in a few minutes. A man is speaking under the water, so this should sound bubbly and muffled. Yeah, that's absolutely creepy, but I gotta say it worked pretty well. That's really fascinating and cool. It's so weird how the audio, it's like the AI is trying to understand what it's like to be human and what human experiences are supposed to sound like. So weird. Okay, we already listened to this one, the, the two space shuttles fighting in space. This is the sound of a steam engine now. <laughs> Wow, all right. I mean, it's a fast moving steam engine, but you can kind of hear the whooshing of the steam and the sound of an engine. They also have these extremely long samples, which are exciting to see as well. This one's six minutes and 30 seconds long. Again, I'm going to link this down below, both the, the thing for you guys to test it out at home and just take a look at the research, but long cat purring for six minutes. I mean, it's definitely sounding like cats are in the background, but it sounds like I'm trapped in some kind of eternal cat hell where there's just cat noises all around me and I'm just I'm just living in, in some kind of nightmare cat world. Adorable and scary at the same time. Let's go two minutes in and see what this sounds like. This is kind of the same nightmare for six minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, it's picking up the cat stuff, though. Peaceful and calming ambient music with singing bowl and other instruments. Five minutes of this. Definitely singing bowl. Very eerie sounding. I, I, it doesn't understand the creepiness factor yet. It, it hasn't figured that out. Maybe gets a little bit better a minute in. Scary ambient music. It's not trying to be scary. It's trying to be peaceful and calming, but it's it's trying. It's trying. Good job, AI. You're, you're doing good. Nature environmental noise with various bird vocalizations, high fidelity, children playing far away, and light wind. Again, there's like this creepy factor to it. No children yet.
Chopping tomatoes on the wooden table we listen to, let's see what meat sounds like in comparison to the tomatoes. I mean, that's, that's some aggressive chopping. That sounds more like someone slapping meat on a table repeatedly over and over again. It doesn't really sound like it's being chopped. Very aggressive. That's... I would not want that person near me, to be honest. They, they're gonna chop me up. Potatoes on a metal table. This one's pretty accurate. A racing car is passing by and disappears. I mean, yeah, I would say so. It, it doesn't sound like that typical sound effect, though. I think we all know what the real sound, what they're exactly describing. Pretty close, though. A female speaking followed by a footstep sound. Yeah, I think it's able to understand that the, f the footsteps are supposed to come after the female speaking. It sounds like both of them, but man, does that ever sound creepy. There's just like this weird creepiness to the audio. Wooden table tapping followed by water pouring. Almost got the water pouring. Almost. Acapella. <laughs> I mean, that's horrifying, but it sounds like acapella. Babbling. <laughs> sounds like your baby got entirely possessed. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even, I'm not even going to get into that one. That's realistic, yeah. Sounds like an eruption. Can't really hear much. A gasp. Oh my god! Yeah, gasping for what? Air? Oh my gosh. Call up the, the people making horror movies because this is a gold mine. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's accurate. Not, not, not much to say there, complete accurateness on the farts. So these are some more ChatGPT examples, the sound of a factory. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a factory. Scary music, ooh. I mean, when it's trying to be scary, it's also scary. So this is cool. This is apparently drum beats to ambient music. It's getting there. Let's listen to a sheep going into someone saying a monologue. Wow. It's like that, uh, that book that we used to read in, uh, middle school. Yeah, these ones. The, the Animorphs. Except it's like a reverse Animorph, so the sheep is 
turning into the person. And they also have the in-painting and the super resolution, the upscaling of the audio, and I'll leave that for you guys to check out on your own time. I want to get into generating myself. I'm just too excited. Right here on Hugging Face Audio LDM, text to audio generation. Right now it takes about 20 seconds to generate a piece of audio. However, I assume after this video is posted that wait time is going to go up because everyone flooding the page. Here's our first test sample. A hammer is hitting a wooden surface. Sounds accurate. That's what it sounds like. Let's say a hollow surface. How does this change the audio? I feel like the beats were a little bit more consistent, but it doesn't understand the resonance. I would say a hollow metal surface, and then it's also creating a resonant noise. Wow, that was accurate. That was actually really good. That's that's perfectly described in the thing. It, it, it completely did exactly what the text said. That is good. That is really good audio generation. A stream of water is hitting a hollow metal surface, creating a resonant noise. Let's see what that sounds like. It definitely looks like a solid stream of clip. That is so good. It sounds like a little dribble of water is just hitting like the, the, a pot. That was crazy. That was so good. I have to listen to that again. I cannot believe that. It's so good. That is so good. I cannot wait until this tech gets better. Oh my God, this is exciting. Someone is playing the harp. Terrifying and distorted, but kind of sounds like a melody in the background. Again, sounds like something you'd hear in hell, but it's getting there. It's There's something going on, at least. Ice shattering all over the hood of a car. Oh, that's funny. So it's thinking in its, in its little AI brain. Oh, a car it beeps when things happen. So it, you can hear the car beeping in the background, but it definitely sounds like ice. This is so funny. It's It sounds like the car is alive and is like up getting upset that ice is falling all over it. That's funny. Water being poured on a fireplace. Yeah, I was kind of listening for that steam sound. It was there. A little bit. That was pretty good as well. Very impressed. They actually do have quality controls and stuff like that. I just left, that, left everything default because I've never messed with any of these kinds of models, but I'm very impressed. I will link this down below, but for some reason I can't get it to work. This is actually image to music using the same exact technology. You just drop an image in here and it will convert it into an audio file. I can't get it to work right now though. It was working for me earlier, but every time I just get like this little music note down here and no matter how much I click or anything like that, I can't seem to find out where the audio is. Well, viewers, tell me what you think down in the comments below. Are you excited for this technology? This is the kind of stuff that really excites me. I haven't seen it before and being able to test it out was really, really fun. If you guys make anything really cool or surprising with this, please share it uh, in my Discord server linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching viewers and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.